robots and AI are taking over your housework, rather than pushing around a heavy canister or upright vacuum. Robot vacuums are a perfect set it and forget it tool that will keep your floors and carpets clean, easing the burden of your demanding, time-consuming cleaning routine. What's up guys? In this video I am going to give you an impartial review when I am covering 5 best robot vacuums in 2024 in the market, which are the best for you. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that will meet the needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance or its particular user use. If you want more information and updated pricing of the products mentioned in the video, be sure to check the links in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe. So let's get started. Number 1. Roborock S7 Max Ultra Robot Vacuum Roborock's S7 Max replaces the S6 Max we tested previously. This new generation improves upon the previous model with more suction, faster processing speed to recognize obstacles, and a fully automated dock. Overall, the vacuuming speed remains similar to the S6. In the laminate corral, it vacuumed everything clean leaving no trace of the debris we had strewn. It finished our carpeted corral in just over 9 minutes, with barely a trace of sawdust left behind. In our concrete area, with the rice we spread, the side brush scattered a few grains, which then got left behind. The small traces of debris missed, as with other models tested, is largely a byproduct of the sheer volume of detritus we used in testing. Using both slam and lighter to navigate, the S7 Max started with a diagonal zigzag path presumably scanning the surroundings. It then quickly went around the perimeter of the corral, following that up with a series of out and back passes moving across the whole space. Number 2. Yeedy Mop Station Pro Robot Vacuum Yeedy's Mop Station Pro is both a mop and a vacuum. With the large rear dustbin attached, it works as a vacuum, running on a schedule you set to keep your house clean. When you want to mop, replace the dustbin with the mopping attachment that has two rotating, replaceable scrubbers. Unlike with other mopping robots, which require you to fill an onboard tank. We were surprised that it filled automatically from a reservoir in the docking station. We discovered the dock also has a tank to hold dirty water from rinsing the cloth scrubbers after mopping. During our mopping test, the Mop Station Pro performed well, scrubbing the laminate floor clean of our muddy footprints. The spinning scrubbing pads did kick some of the dried mud around, but our test pushes the limits of what we would expect the robot to mop up. While the floor was clean well, when we inspected the bottom of the robot, we needed to clean some mud off the wheels. Number 3. Shark AI Ultra Robot Vacuum Shark's AI Ultra Robot Vacuum is a hands-off maintenance cleaner with a HEPA filter, making it a great option for pet owners. The AI Ultra can run unaided for up to 60 days, because the docking station empties the robot at the end of every cleaning cycle. After each stage of testing, we examined the vacuum's onboard dustbin after it self-emptied and found it clear of debris. We did note that there was always a small amount of dust residue sticking to the inside due to static electricity. When the docking station does need emptying, we found it best to put it into a large garbage can in the garage or outside, because dust can become airborne which sort of defeats the advantages of the units on board HEPA filter if done inside. On our various test surfaces, the AI Ultra performed equally well on hard and carpeted surfaces. It occasionally left a few grains of rice or a stray kidney bean in our admittedly heavily deposited debris, but no more than the other models. Number 4. Irabit Roomba S9 Plus Robot Vacuum The S9 Plus clocked the fastest time to finish the carpeted area, leaving just a trace of sawdust after 9 minutes. In the concrete area, it took more time navigating around the wooden stool but was delicate in doing so, cleaning around the legs thoroughly. Like the others, it did leave some rice at the edge of the floor mat. In the laminate corral, we couldn't find any debris, except for a dusting of flour in one spot. Keep in mind that the S9 Plus has flexible ridges and paddles instead of bristles. This appeared to be a little less effective with very fine particles on the smooth, hard surface. We had the most difficulty discerning what the S9 Plus was actually doing. What initially appeared to be a random path, we realized, was a series of location exercises using SLAM. Number 5. Robovac G30 Edge Robot Vacuum. The G30 Edge is the least expensive model from our test, but you wouldn't know that by how it cleaned our test corrals. It was slightly slower than the others, sure, yet it effectively and methodically vacuumed each area. It left barely a trace of debris on both the carpet and laminate floor, and missed some rice transitioning from the floor to the mat in the concrete area. We did notice the G30 Edge bump things slightly harder than the other vacuums not surprising, since its navigation is an enhanced version of bump and go. Despite having that lower tech nav system, 
this Yuffie seemed remarkably efficient, leaving the dock, it immediately started a straight out and back pattern, moving left to the wall with each pass, it then bumped the wall in a couple of places, confirming its location, before returning to the center, it continued out and back to the right wall, where it started around the perimeter to the lower left corner, that's all from my end, I make helpful videos daily, so do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification, to get more information or if you want to know product price, please do check my description, for any kind of problem please comment below so I can help you further, life is short so enjoy every bit of your life with our cool products, as it going to make your life much easier.